How do we make money while we sleep? There you go. It said that if you do not learn to make money when you sleep, you're going to work your whole life. It's the concept. So even Bill Gates and all the other people and Warren Buff and all those guys, well, I'll tell you, whatever you're creating or doing, it's got to work while you're sleeping. Yeah, that's the big key. So the first step, as you said, you work with a lot of home, first-time home buyers, and I have too, um, is to get your house. You know, establish that home. That's your first wealth. It's going to grow in you. It's going to grow your wealth. You're going to grow equity. Hopefully, you're going to have these things. However, once you've established that, you know the couple of things that you really need to establish are one, a budget. It's critical. Most of us don't really budget. You know, QuickBooks has stuff. There's all kinds of things. Get a budget. Sorry. The first key is to learn to live on less than you make. See, there is a thing called the butter and gun theory of economics, very basic economic theory. And it's basically butter, we have money, capital, we're going to spend it on either butter or guns. So butter tends to be things like new clothes, nice car, nice watch, watch. you know, whatever it is we do, right? Or those things that don't make any money, as soon as you buy that new car off the lot, it drops 20%, you just lost wealth. Yes. You did, you just lost wealth. So I used to tell my sister who worked at Nordstrom's, that I would go and get my 501s at this little cheap place down the street for $22 a piece, where they were selling them for anywhere from 56 to 65 in Nordstrom's. I used to tell people, if you really need the Nordstrom's bag, if you ask, they'll actually <laughs> give you the bag, you can put your money That's in That's a up. good trick. Because I want my money in my pocket, not Nordstrom's. Yes, right? they have you enough have, money. You get it, right? <laughs> you have to think like that. It's a resource. And if you don't look at it as a resource, you won't have any. Mm -hmm. So butter are things that you buy you know, the bling or whatever they call it, you know, they really like to talk about. Guns, in this case, in the butter and gun theory of economics, are things that grow in value. So it could be stocks, it could be coins, it could be gold, it, it could be real estate. And the number one wealth builder in the history of this country is real estate. And it's also the simplest for people to get into because it's a pretty basic one, two, three thing. You're going to have some problems here and there. There's always some things when you own real estate you've got to deal with. But whether you deal with it or your management company deals with it, um, it's actually pretty easy to build wealth. It's just a matter of sitting down. So the concept between butter and guns is if you spend all your money on butter, which most of us do, you'll always struggle for the amount of butter you have. Whereas if you put some money into guns, eventually you'll have enough guns to take all the butter you want. Yeah. And that's kind of the concept. So you have to think on that line. So now you've got your house, you're established. You know your budget, you're learning to live within your means. From that point, the next step is to decide that you want to buy real estate as an investment structure. Um, you need a good, you need a great team. So you would be the first team member that anybody would need, a knowledgeable real estate broker that understands investments, understands the entire process that they can help rely upon for knowledge and input. Then you usually bring in your, your mortgage people mm -hmm. who are the right type of mortgage. And you need to be able to get something that's affordable. There's all kinds of different types of mortgages, especially from an investment point of view. Um, one thing is if your credit's not in good shape, yeah, but the right amount structure, just about anybody can buy a house. Mm -hmm. What you're talking about is your credit being in good shape is just how much the money costs you. See, a mortgage is you buying money. See, somebody's selling money at a price, mm -hmm. and your credit dictates what the price is going to cost. The sources you go to, the speed by which they do things. So a hard money lender, as they're called, which is a private group that lends you money for more than the banks do, can close a deal in five days. Mm -hmm. Whereas your bank might take you 60. Mm -hmm. Well, a good deal may slip through your hands. In that you time. Take, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. all run into that, haven't we? Yes, we I, have. I've lost them, you've lost them, clients have lost them. Yeah. So sometimes speed is important, but speed costs money. If I used to drive rest motorcycles when I was a young man, and I learned that going from 10 seconds and a quarter mile to nine seconds and a quarter mile cost me as much money as going from nine seconds to 8.9. Yeah, it just to get that little, it yeah. just costs, the speed costs money. So remember that when you're looking at the money you're going to purchase, because you're purchasing money, that's what lending is, they're yes. selling money. Mm -hmm. So now you have these mindsets, these concepts, the next step is what's a good deal? So that's where they rely upon you. So usually you can do this one of two real ways. You can um, either buy a house, another home, which is probably the easiest. 
And then I would suggest, unless you want to be a property manager, that you hire a property manager. And I get people all the time say, yeah, but it might cost me 8 to 10% of my income every month. Yeah, but the headaches and stuff, you don't Our have priceless. to do, oh my God. <laughs> I don't need it. Property manager, yes. to me, it's peace of mind. Yes. I don't want called at 2.30 in the morning to go fix the toilet. Yeah. And if you're the manager, you're the owner, you get to get up. Even if you have to be up at 6 a.m., you get to get up and go do that. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have these teams. Property managers, great real estate broker, great finance group. Then from there, you always have some peripheral ones, like a good contractor that might fix things. You have some other things when you're inspectors and those and those teams. And those are the people that you'll bring to the table for your clients. Mm -hmm. And if you do it right, you can end up with anywhere from a good 5 to 10% return on your investment on a consistent basis throughout your life. So the first indicator is, one, you have to decide this is what you want. And then when you do, then you've got to look at this and say, okay, you got to get yourself together. I need a good budget. Mm -hmm. I need to live within my means. And then I need to find good deals. Mm -hmm. Now, good deals can come in many ways. They can come in the price is lower, or maybe my long-term costs of owning are lower. Okay. Okay. So many people think, oh, I want the I want a really cheap house. I'm going to fix it up. And well, that's okay. The older the home is, the more long-term costs you're going to have. So there's two different things people forget. What's my cost of acquiring it? What's my cost of maintaining it? Okay. See, so you want to balance both. Good deals might be I paid more for the house, but my overall cost is less over the next 10 or 20 years. So you just kind of look at those things. So then from that point, once you have the pieces together, once you've gone, gotten together with a mortgage professional and we, you've set them up with, and we know what we can acquire, we know what we can qualify for, then from that point, the job is to go and to find the deal, okay. which is where you come in, especially. Mm -hmm. You come in through the whole thing, but then you help them find that deal. So now once they've acquired it, now they hold it, and it's a long-term hold, because there are only really two ways to make money in real estate. There's buy, fix it up, and resell, mm -hmm. or there's buy, hold it for a long term and make money off yes. of it, and eventually let your wealth grow.